Hey everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, we have one Titan left and one Star left. So I'm thinking that we will head towards the Titan first. If they're out here in the lake, we're fairly close. I do kind of wonder. I'm thinking if we go here and we just like run off the mountain, it should be, should work. This way. I wonder if you can just glide to the top of the Gimme Ghoul towers. That would be cool. Looks like potentially you can. Easy. Oh, that's pretty funny. I'll save this for another time though. Okay. Can't get distracted. <laughs> Not while I'm mid uh, mid journey. I've been doing so good the last the last few phases. I just need to keep going in linear directions and I will finish this game! Uh, okay, we're being forced to drop. So we had gotten the text about this earlier and I feel like it said that this one we had to find it. select it? Okay, well, you're just a fish. That was really easy. Okay. Well, I guess if nothing else, we've got some free XP. Hey, there's a bigger one. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Mega catfish. Tom Kench comes for us all. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, obviously. Tom Kench is far classier than this. Much worse. Mm, poor Garchomp. Hey, Garchomp just gets the short end of the stick like constantly. I don't even know what Terra type it is. I'm glad I just started wanting like other things where I would have never gotten here. Okay. Um, Martine, you're up. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I didn't realize I was inside. I'm inside of the Terra Crystal. Oh, what kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> oh wow. I should... Why the- why am I inside of the crystal? Okay, he's going off that way. But what about me? Okay. Ah! No, I wanted to... Anyways, I see you. Ah! 
I see you. Hello. Are we taking a we're taking a casual swim, eh? I assume he's just gonna go find another snack. So we just have to figure out where that snack is first, right? And then the little one comes out, and there are two titans. Briar, did you find the titan? So that's it? Sure's one big, uh, dragon? Wait, is that even a dragon or a fish? It's a fish. It's a catfish. Huh. <laughs> the, the little sushi guy got eaten up by the titan. Yeah, he has good taste. Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. I mean, we're the ones calling it a sushi fish. <laughs> Garchomp is just laying flat, floating in the water. Like a real shark. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's too bad he's in bad health. I gotta switch you, buddy, but... <laughs> I'm glad I finally get to see you not on your little floaty. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal of this battle. Sorry, little tromper. Martine has to protect you. Ingredient this time, huh? I guess I should have healed up before the fight, but here I am, like usual. <laughs> uh, don't judge me. If you've made it this far, you you should know how this goes. Good job, Martine. Is it gonna flee again, though? I guess it had its snack. Cause we've only really had it like... I don't know. I'm used to them running twice. And this guy has only ran once, but maybe it's to give you... help. In case you're like me and you just missed him the... missed the trigger. Probably not. They're probably like, you've done this so many times now, let's just make it faster and make him bigger. It was cool that we got to see him like swimming in the water underneath us though. That was a nice touch. We did it, Briar! Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Urban Mystica. Hmm? Well, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Ta ta Titan! What is that thing want to fight too? <coughs> oh my god! That surprised me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That surprised me so much. I just started calling. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Sorry, little. little dragon. Mm, what? How dare you out? Garchomp, what are you even good for? I'm sorry, but oof. I only... I've been told all these years, why don't you use the Garchomp? You caught the little gibble, why are you... 
and it just it's doing nothing for me. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Anyways, all hail the almighty boop. But yeah, Garchomp's hot, hot take Garchomp is worse than Azumarill. That's been my game experience. Uh, poor, poor Chompy. Uh, just a little, little sucker punch when I almost got down. Sorry, little sushi boy. Good job, Boop. You have officially slayed the most titans out of everyone on my team. Yeah, nice job, Briar. That's my heart. Stop calling me your little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together? Like some kind of combo meal. The little one came out of here, which means this should be where the Herba Mystica are. Yup. No duh. And that must be it. I love how he says that. I'm looking at that little dot thing that was on the ground there. That was like an off color. Like a pixel error, I don't know. We found the spicy herb on the sticker. I just I just remember my avatar can't do eyebrows. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives you circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. Uh, so it's like going on a run. You know what's next? It's chow time! Okay. Hear me out. I want custom mustard. And here we go! Trusty Arvin's Choco Block full of cheer final herb super sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? This is not food wars. Leave me alone. False dragon titan defeated. Excellent. Another photo for memory lane. And it's sandwich time, boy. Come and get up. Yes, I do. It's sandwich time. What a good boy. Very good at eating his sandwiches. Cry Duncan. Oh, so you do get to climb. Oh, that seems kind of busted. But I guess we are approaching end game. He's an all terrain vehicle now. I guess it's Mabastiff's turn then. I just something I've been wondering through the whole plot of this is what if it turns out that Mabasta just happens to be old that this is just old age and there's nothing that Urban Mystica can do and Arvin's just like in denial come on bud eat up <laughs> it's gonna make you all better I promise Briar and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know? Just like we used to. Please get better. Stop pressuring him. And we know it's what you want, but it's not something necessarily in Mabostov's control. Making him feel bad. Oh, this loading screen's so long for what's supposed to be an emotional moment! Hurry it up. I need to know what happens to the doggo. You can't do this to me! Robostiff, you did your best, bud.
There he goes. That's his Pokeball, sir. Bud. No. I know, bud. Me too. Oh. Oh, great on. I know he's, they're trying to be like, he's, him being like, I get it. I don't think he gets it. That, uh, poor boy. And by boy, I mean Coridon, not Irvin. I just, Coridon just looks like a space case to me. Hey, Briar, this is Seda, here to interrupt the moment. Uh, seems Crydon's regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. It should be able to climb up any- we've already been told. I love how he's like, that's news to me. But I'll listen to you like you had anything to do with it. That voice, Arvin, are you there? No, sh he's been there the whole time. I've been searching so long for a way to reach you because no one else can get in my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Briar back to the lighthouse with you, to the lab on Poco Path. I'll reach out once more when you arrive there. This lady is the worst mom. Yeah. Same page, buddy. I'm sorry there's so many screenshots. There's so many cute scenes. I guess you probably already know, but that's my mom. Yeah, the hair. The hair is the giveaway. Always buried under her work, off pursuing her own research, never at home with me. That's the first time I've even heard her voice in years, you know? And now what? The first thing I guess is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Koridon probably want to go, huh? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but... I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? It's the lighthouse where we first met. True. Really? That was such a great Arvin facial expression. And no screenshot allowed. Okay. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. That's fair. Oh, we left- uh, did we just leave Coridon's Pokeball there? Or is that Mabasto's Pokeball? Mom, where have you been all this time? Oh, okay, go to the lab on Pokeball. Do 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 do. Okay, so that's back by where we live. That's me. Where do we live? I guess we live over there. So I guess south? Yeah, there's Poco Path. Call up Nimona. Hey Nimona, where do we live again? No, I, I don't want to battle. I just need to literally know my address because my mom sent me off before I could even find out. Hey, Arvin. Seriously, you beat me here? Yeah, it's Coridon. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. We are kids. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her ever even playing with me, her own kid. But Bostov's the only one who was there for me. Always.
Anyway, it's open. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. I feel ya. Very empty. I need your help. That do you deserve our help? Arvin would seem conflicted on that. I'm currently in the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Cater of Paldia. Words. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sato's glorious research. I don't think your son cares. The final step? But there's something we need first, something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, you mean this book? Oh, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise it'll be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Seems that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You can take time to gather some reliable allies before you come if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero when you arrive. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabostov got wounded in the first place, in the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? We might find our treasure. The ultimate sandwich. Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. Not that you ever go to class. I don't know why you care about the assignment. I just can't stand by to watch while a friend heads off into danger on their own. Yeah. But stop calling me a little bud. Besides, I'd love to give mom a piece of my mind. That's the spirit. Alright then, prior outside, we're gonna have a Pokemon battle see if we're really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. That's fair. Irvin's grown on me. He was very annoying at the beginning, but now that he's opened up a bit, I, I don't mind as much. How do I escape this place? Let me out. Oh, isn't my boss of a dark type? Hey, bunny. Sorry, I just I just remembered what you were. I gotta. Uh, poor Garchomp. All right, you ready for a battle, Briar? That's why I'm here, buddy. Of course, I'm not as ready as Nimona, but you know, I'm ready enough. Then why are you making my boss to fight already? I guess he's ready. I just... Yeah, seriously. Okay, yeah, I- okay, as long as you're aware. I guess. That's all I can ask for. It's your guys' decision, but... <laughs> it just... He just got better. Yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. I'm sh but my buddy here's bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Don't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, <laughs> the battle fanatic one. 
True. Nimona is a little crazy. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mavastiff and we're feeling audacious. Maybe herbaceous? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Uh. Yeah. You got this, Arvin. Prepare to be crushed. <laughs> Prepare to have your soul crushed. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Aww. Oh, what a sweet sentiment. I guess I'd have to crit to Oko. Ah, oh, so close. I feel like Body Slam is normal, though I'm sure the Greedon will have other moves. Get the special attack boost in case we can stay out. Two level. Mm, that's the salt Pokemon that's like rock something, right? Maybe a low kicks. Maybe? Mm. Uh, it's it's all or nothing. Low kicks will be perfect or we'll die immediately. There's no in between. Okay, so very high physical defense. That's not good. Uh, and he got set up. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess I could Terracellize into fighting type. Yeah. Also, then I can get a grass field. So, let me look, because I didn't... Oh, it is physical. That's too bad. Ow. Not a fan of that. Uh, let's see. Good job, Martine. Is Vivillian grass or fire? I don't know. I'll swap into thorn. We'll see what happens. I need to heal the other guys. low HP then. Okay. Hey. 
There we go. I don't know what Toad's Cruel is. Oh, okay. That's weird. Anyways. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll need boop for my boss stuff. Good job, Garchomp. Well, that's annoying. Um, anyways. Should still be Power Whip, which I'm still pretty sure is grass. Oh, even better. Good job, Thorn. And you're faster. Perfect. Wait, how slow is my Garchomp? That's not good. I believe. I, I believe. Maybe. Okay. Oh no. It. That's oh, cold. Be faster, please. No. No. Thorn. Uh, what is this trash Pokemon? Good job, Martin. No, I think Cloyster also has ice moves. Eh, that's kind of funny. Okay then. Aqua ring still works. No.
I think Booth can take this though. I just don't know how many icicle spears there are. I don't like it. No, stop it. Stop it. Ah, what was that? Good job, Boop. That was nonsense. That's what that was. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like Tinkaton and Garchomp are not carrying their weight. It may just be because I don't know my types well enough, but Garchomp especially, even with the super effectives, is just not doing enough damage. And his speed isn't like high or low enough for anything worthwhile. It's just things are things are not working. Uh, fully restore health and cure status conditions. Sounds good. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up! Time to terrestrialize. No. Oh. Uh, that's too bad. So, is he gonna be dark? What's that type? It has to be, I guess, dark type. It looks like a grinning face thing? I don't know. Yeah, it must be dark type. That's so strange. Okay. Here. Do your best, Tinkaton. And it's physically defensive. Unfortunately, other than the Azumarill that I just caught a bit ago, I don't think I have any fairy Terras. Oh! I didn't guess Tink was. So I guess it doesn't give like a boost, does it? That's okay, you got this boop. Sorry, old dog. The new kids win. Or my boss stuff. Like, why would you... Why would you want to do that right away? And stop calling me little buddy! Yeah, you owe me $126 now. Every time you call me little buddy, you should pay me $126, sir. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those titan Pokemon, huh? To be fair, I feel like you could have taken down the Bombardier without me. Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there's all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. The student council girl? Yep. I, I think this. Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level. I don't know. Nimona, if I was like, hey, Nimona, do you want to battle? She, and, and just, oh, by the way, I'm, I'm just, 
I'm on my way to Area Zero. Oh no, I'm at the bottom of the Great Crater. How are you gonna? How are you gonna get here, Nimona? To challenge me, Nimona? I just I can't help it. We need to fight right now, right here. You have to make it. <laughs> like, there is no way that girl would not just come without me even having to like make it to champion rank. I could just summon her. She's obsessed with me. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could be at help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress and I'll do the same. So, I guess since Penny and Nimona were the options, I need to finish the gyms and the, the Team Star storyline. Oh, what a nice little overlook. I'm guessing from him mentioning Nimona and Penny. We gotta do those storylines and this is like the convergence point is going into the crater. So I guess finishing the star storyline and recruiting Penny to the sandwich call. <laughs> and by that I mean blackmailing Penny. Who's definitely not Cassie of <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll do that next time. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I hope you have a great day.